What's up folks and welcome to X4 Foundations. We are currently on version 4.10. This is no longer the uh, beta branch. It's uh, it's live, so yay for that. I am um, I am aware that the videos for X4 are relatively slow. It's because there is just so much uh, to do. So my question to you is what is it that you are looking for in a series what is it that you want do you just want short videos explaining you things or do you want to see all of my adventures just doing everything that i did to get where i am currently uh, where am i currently well currently we are in napoleon's fortune 2 which is my own sector we uh, we have some factories we don't have all of them you can see i have no credits because the majority of them will just go to well we still need to buy <laughs> see that 60 million yeah don't worry about that you don't need 60 million actually to get this going so what we are going to be talking about is trade trade stations or even supply stations even you, you can do whatever you want in this game usually i'll have a station at the entrance over here which is the trade station or the warehouse and later that will change mind the gap are you bloody kidding me damn game <laughs> mind the gap guys um and later that will change into my headquarters a uh, wide headquarters it's an amazing position to be in you can almost reach anywhere on the entire highway within this system so it's absolutely brilliant now this is of course the warehouse and we are going to go back to our ship and i'm going to be flying it myself because we uh, we are aware how this will go once they start speaking they ain't stopping it they ain't stopping so let's go up here we have a um, a good amount of defenses uh, unfortunately in order to make a sort of a baseline i had to draw in from <laughs> this this line from one way to the other one because i wanted to have the large ships coming in we don't own large ships so they can only come in from over there which uh, I felt it would be wise to place them closest to the connection point over here. So when we actually get that, and I think there's one ship docked here. Oh no, this is the trading position. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's go here and let's go to the map. So, you want to get into trade and you want to get your trade station. And like me and so many others, you've seen the videos telling you to, you know... Just go here and just buy in from the AI at, uh, say, one third and just sell at two thirds. And you do that with all hopes of becoming rich. And you ain't getting it. Why? Quite basically, you are uh, buying the, the overflow of the AI. When the AI's prices drop to over here, you know they have created too many goods because usually it's it's right in the center point like the sweet spot over there so buying over here is hey we have created too many items do you want them and you're like yeah 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 give me give me give me and then you'd think you can sell them two thirds of the way and you're sitting on your items over there yeah of course you will make an occasional trade and when your manager becomes level five he will venture out into other empires as well and and, and then you will make some money but it's definitely not as much as you hope so i cannot advise you enough not to do that. just get your own system of just get your own se uh, uh, station creating your wares like i'm doing over here creating everything even super cool a uh, super fluid coolant which just is not here at the moment and get ship it to a station and from there out you will sell what do you want to do before you actually get into this first you go to player information and you're going to global orders there's two things that are almost a must one is your trade rule this will I'll just this will make sure no ships are going to be docking at your stations getting your goods and just taking away the majority of the profit so this will enable you to have your own ships trade to your trade station 
without your supplies running dry. Now, there is also a thing which you can do, which is the blacklist. Since the AI is not able to dock at your stations, this doesn't mean that your ships are not trading with the AI. This will prevent your own um, civilian ships to trade with anyone but your own faction. So you can have 20 uh, transport ships to your solar power plant and you will not see them go um, to any other stations but yourselves. That is the blacklist. Also, I like to just have a, a production uh, sector only, which I usually just get my freighters. It, it could could be useful. It, it's up to you if you want it or not. Uh, you basically don't need it if you don't have systems. If you don't have uh, stations outside of your own territory like we do. So my ships won't go outside. Of course the mining ships will go outside to mine. And I'll have a, have a plan for that in the future. Which is getting a station to buy in silicon. Uh, and ores and, and all of those gas. They will have to be separate uh, stations otherwise the AI will just get confused if you make a station that is fully for ore and silicon it's one or the other that's going to be filled up and that's all and silicon will also all be at the back end if you just focus that station on silicon all of those ships on that station will go silicon and you can just have say a large freighter docking to your stations wherever they need to and you don't Going to be harassed by pirates well that's not completely true you will be harassed by pirates but you just need some small security forces i've been doing this with two ships um, i put one here on the repeat orders the other one over there but that's not the point of this episode when you done your global orders you're going to go towards your factories and as you can see i i'm an idiot and i like to set up i just have enough for an hour uh, of course they overflow in the second but that's they won't buy until this threshold is reached and we'll make sure that we are set to station settings uh, only trade with daily fix then going to your future trade hub you will set up all of your wares that you're going to be selling just make sure you only do the things that you actually produce otherwise you'll just leave with something that's open this one i know that i produce but say i want to buy in smart chips it won't fill in but you will still need to buy the amount to actually fill it up so it's a waste of your money don't do it um if you notice that a particular item is not shipped to your trade station you might want to tell it to buy up till the fullest amount or the maximum amount. This, this doesn't matter at all. This automatic pricing, it does not matter because you are producing your own materials and you can sell them even, even though this is 2336 and this is 2064. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. You are still making a buttload of cash out of this. Uh, how much is a buttload? This hasn't been going for too long but uh, we're making 10 million currently an hour just by doing this so it definitely pays up and say you want to have this station supply another station what you will do is you'll get a freighter just click that's a miner transporter you will go to behavior and because it's on trade restriction daily fix and it therefore will only trade with your stations assign it to your warehouse and then it will actively go to the other station and resupply that because you set it up the same way as you say it's setting up this way actually that is not true that is not true i i trust tried that, that that doesn't work if you are going to be playing around with multiple stations you are going to be sure that you do not set it up like this. Why not? When you have your ship 
transporting your materials at 2045 to your other station that also has set this up. They will start selling everything towards that station because of this price and then immediately buy everything back to overflow. So what you'll get is a circle. Your, your materials are just going in circle. It's going to be a mess. Absolutely a mess. Now. We have, uh, we've currently talked about the point of having a station that is just to rake in money and you will no longer see traffic going towards your own systems or your own stations, which is definitely a good thing because you have a better overview. Also, what this creates for you is a active overview on how well your economy is running without going through all of these stations and you can see plasma conductors a bit on the low side and shield components claytronics is being filled up so let's take a look at plasma conductors and you can see hey it's doing less because i'm most likely getting too few super fluid coolant now luckily for me i believe i just upgraded that factory where are you Mm, no. I know I have it. Oh, here we go. Actually, the helium refinery. And no, actually, I, uh, I'm i assuming we are not going to have enough. Energy storage is hopped. The helium is going. We need to upgrade this system. So we now know we have something to do all because we have one click on this warehouse. You can check your economy extremely useful when you're going to go with your own wharfs and shipyards where you are filling those up and when they're filled up you're not always buying ships but you can actually just check out your warehouse and see what is working and what isn't also good missions to get money to actually get started are the the hard missions over here which will give you um an additional 50 percent to do factories and everything i've done a lot of defensive stations and it made me a lot of money which is absolutely wonderful wonderful i just keep uh, filling the station up what we will do in the future is i'm going to be buying i think another six six production blueprints and then we have our basic setup gone i don't want to do two large videos if we are going to do information so let me know in the comment section, guys, what is it that you are looking for in X4 videos? Because we can also start a campaign where I will show you everything that I'm doing. And I'll, I'm, I'm, I'll, I will skip, of course, the parts where I'm just at a station just waiting. But we will do missions. We will do pirate activities, perhaps. And we will slowly build our empire we will always claim one of the systems i think this this napoleon's fortune 2 is one of the best systems you can get maybe some of the others are just as good but currently we have this one and i'm quite okay with it so yeah looking forward to that let me know in the comment, comment section what you think did i skip anything did i absolutely mess something up i'd love to get your feedback give it to me and also if you want to see me play x4 um consider joining me on twitch and perhaps even join the Discord community to talk about this game. Hope it was informative and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.